all the dope gear that Urban EDC sent me this week. Spyderco Techno 2, this is the Knife Modders Edition. It does have a CTS XHP blade, and you can see the cross barking. That is where the mod work starts from the Knife Modders. I feel like they do this the best, but you should definitely check out their Instagram. They do a lot of really cool stuff on there. Urban EDC Monaco. This is the bead blasted version and check out the intricate details on the scales. You have an M390 blade. It's not sharp on this side, sharp on this side only. And this is designed by Jens Anso. Really, really cool one for the fifth pocket or watch pocket. Urban EDC Recluse S. This is a really interesting slip joint S35 VN blade. And look at that blade actually. Very, very different from most slippies that you're gonna use. Just like a really cool grind on this one. Uh, this is the JG10 variant. All the other variants are sold out. But I kind of dig this black on green color configuration. And uh, the hardware is titanium. The pocket clip is titanium as well. Non-locking for those of you who can't carry a locking blade. Check this one out. Justin Lundquist 5 slot pry bar. This is a purple one. I requested this one specifically because my girl has a purple EDC rotation. And this will look great in there. There's only one of these left, and it is the bronze one. All the other ones are sold out. So if you have a bronze kit that you want to complete, this is perfect because it's small, and it'll fit in all types of EDC pouches and things like that. This is a Hank. I don't show Hanks often, but this is the Everyday Hanks Midnight Asanoha hat. I mean, Hank. Um, Asanoha is like a pattern that represents hemp because hemp leaves are strong. And uh, they put these on children's kimonos in Japan so they grow up big and strong. Uh, that's what I read on the Google anyway. Very cool Hank nonetheless. Now these crazy things, TNP Avis Pry Bar. So dope that they sent me two and I don't know why. So this is a, you know, really, really cool kind of rectangle-ish pry bar. You got a bottle opener, a flat head pry bar tool right here. You got a little lanyard thing right there. The cool part about it though, is that it has a button right here, which releases a utility blade. I've checked out a lot of pry bars in my day, but never one with a utility blade in it. And uh, very easy to remove and uh, replace blades. So in case you need to do that, very, very awesome actually. This is, uh, I think it's only 65 bucks too. It's titanium and carbon fiber. There are other variants available as well. Drop in the comments, which one of these is your favorite?